Well, it is decision day for five Denver schools and hundreds of families. The school board will vote tonight on whether to close five schools. Nine News reporter Darius Johnson joins us in studio this morning. Darius, this is a last resort for the district, and they say they're just making this decision for the students. Hey there, Corey. Good morning. The board has said many times it's not the resolution and it's not the finances. They do feel that this is the best way to move forward due to declining enrollment. However, it will still save the district millions. DPS said it expects to be in a deficit of more more than $35 million over the next three years. Originally, 10 schools were on the chopping block. The district has since cut that in half. So now five elementary and middle schools are at risk of being closed, impacting roughly 600 students. Closing the schools would save the district nearly $5 million. And DPS says these five particular schools account for more than two thirds of that money. The district superintendent says closing these schools could get kids into bigger schools and improve their experience as well as resources. He says he understands this is heartbreaking, but he says they continue to offer impacted families support. Until that final decision is made for all schools, we know that there will be uncertainty about each of them. And while we do not know the outcome, we do know that the students and families impacted by this effort will be prioritized, not for a unification and any support they need in school choice moving forward. I did reach out to the school district in hopes of getting a one on one interview with Dr. Marrero. He did decline our interview request until after the vote takes place. He will have some media availability tomorrow where we will be able to speak with him. This meeting begins at 430 this afternoon. We do want to let you know it's open to the public. If the board votes no, they would have to come up with a new resolution. That new resolution could include revisiting the other five schools that were originally slated to close Corey. Yeah, and I know a lot of districts are probably watching this. Jeffco is going through a very similar thing. I mean, declining enrollment is happening across the board. You know, and I think it's so many different things that go hand in hand with it. One thing that we continue to talk about priced out. Many families are being priced out of the area, so they're being forced to move to different places or just somewhere where it's a little more affordable. And sadly, that means their kids have to go with them and start over at a new school. And we don't really know how this is going to go because it seems like a lot of board members are not on board with this. Yeah, it really seems like a split decision right now. We really don't know what it's going to be, but hey, the board is of eight people, so let's see what happens. All right, 430 today, Darius, thank you.